Good evening. After weeks of delays, House Speaker Glenn Casta has set the date. He will step down as House Speaker on August 2nd. A scandal has scourged Cassida since a News Channel 5 investigation revealed a slew of inappropriate behavior while in office, but he still has two months in office. News Channel 5's Chris Conti is here with us now. And Chris, not exactly the news that Democrats and Republicans were looking for. All day today, guys, members on both sides of the aisle said that Cassida needs to step down immediately. Apparently, though, he is going to draw out this process as long as possible. It was in a three sentence letter today sent at four o'clock this afternoon that we learned Cassida will formally resign. But by drawing this process out until August, it appears he's increase, increasing his pension rate. Cassida will also continue to hold on to his position of power and he will continue to take home thousands of dollars in a paycheck that taxpayers are responsible for. Do we have everybody or do we have more people that are coming? Stop me if you've heard this one before. What are we waiting for? It is a story which has repeated itself for weeks. Glenn Cassidy needs to resign this morning. If that hasn't happened, why is anybody asking any more questions? Those calls today were finally answered in a three sentence letter. After trying to fight off an embarrassing scandal, Glenn Cassida will step down as House Speaker on August 2nd. It all comes after News Channel 5 investigates uncovered a sexually explicit text exchange between Cassida and his former Chief of Staff. An FBI investigation has begun to determine if Cassida improperly influenced votes, and he tried to cover up parts of the scandal by lying about it. Since May 21st, when he announced his intent to resign, Glenn Cassida has continued to take home a state paycheck. He will continue to do so for the next two months, earning $14,600 of your taxpayer money. Every day he clings to power. Taxpayers are seeing their money wasted. As you can tell, Democrats were fed up today. Is this tarnishing the state's reputation? Obviously it's tarnishing the state's reputation. It is a scandal which has been near impossible for even Governor Lee to escape. Is it fair to taxpayers that he's continuing to draw the salary? I mean, he's been in Europe for two weeks. I, I don't know. Is that is that fair? Yeah. Well, what 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 we need to do, uh, fair or otherwise, what we need to do is is move forward, and I think very soon we're going to know what the plan is for that forward movement. The governor will now be forced to do the one thing he has avoided, calling a special session the day Cassidy resigns. As a story which has repeated itself for weeks now appears to have some kind of conclusion. Why do the taxpayers need to see even one more dollar wasted because of the Cassidy regime? This drawn out resignation still managed to anger members of Cassidy's own party today. Bill Dunn, a Republican who would temporarily take over as speaker, said, quote, a month ago, I advised him to step down the day before the no confidence vote. I asked him to resign and today I told him he should resign today. He obviously doesn't value my counsel. Guys, just within the last half an hour, Bill Lee tweeting that he will consider all steps now moving forward, kind of eating his words today because he told us at that media conference that he doesn't want to call a special session, but now Glenn Cassida is saying, we want you to do this. Wow. Yeah. All right, thank you, Chris.